again with that five and six record for their first 11 for Coach Allen Gum. A little just a bit outside. Of the, uh, <laughs> so he, he hit the bull. <laughs> <laughs> I think he, think he might have hit the bull. <laughs> again on three and two. Hit to right center. Martin got there. Loves the line drive to end the inning. A base hit and a man left in scoring position in the Central Arkansas first inning is Ethan Smith. 2-3 in the bottom half of the first. Big bouncer to third. Play over to first. And a nice dig by Potvin on the throw by Orlando to end the inning. Something like this happens. All they want to do is just be back home, be with family. Lead off walk to Reagan. Short lead at first. Smith comes to the plate. Bouncer to the right side and through. Pass to diving Harrison Ray. Reagan stops at second. First two on base in the second for Central Arkansas. You can use a strikeout. Here comes a payoff. Ball four and they're loaded. You got to give a lot of credit there to Sagdahl. Down the left field line and will be in for extra bases. At least two runs are going to score. They hold up Sagdahl at third, a two RBI double for Connor Emmett. He delivers RBIs four and five in Central Arkansas with some two out damage to lead two nothing. It looked like Emmett was up on the plate the pitch before he kind of backed off once he got the three one count. Got a good pitch to hit and just slapped it there in left field. Again, these these veteran hitters know what they're doing up there. They've worked some counts. And Smith just kind of fighting it a little bit today. Bouncer back to the mound will end the inning. One to three. But some good work. Downstairs for ball four. A good start to the second for Vanderbilt. A leadoff walk to Duvall. Shortly for Duvall. Back up the middle, drop into right center for a base hit. Duvall going to head on to third at the corners with nobody out. Base hit for Rodriguez. What a great piece of hitting. Up the middle off the bat of Thomas, the hero of Sunday. A double play here, but it gets a run home. And Vanderbilt cuts the lead in half. It's two to one. It's a great job by Gilbertson. Payoff way outside for ball four. A two out base runner as no one walks. Ball four. Gilbertson wanted the pitch. Ray trots to first. Yeah, that was a really good. Runners on the move. Slap down the left field line and in. One run scores. Ray stops at third. And the freshman Carter Young delivers a big hit with two outs to tie the game at two. And probably the best possible scenario for the Commodores with the three two count two outs. Both those runners going to be on the move. And Carter Young fastball on the outside corner slaps it. There to left field to the left fielder Emmett. Be Parker Nolan rounding third. Commodore is able to end with two gone. Back-to-back -back walks, a liner right at the shortstop, Pearson. To end the inning, Davis hit it hard. That's all for Vanderbilt in this. Martin lined out to center his first time up, 0 for 1. Hits this one deep to left center. Back there, Reagan gets up against the fence. Martin, a leadoff double to start the third. And we talked earlier about veteran players picking pitches to take good swings at early in the count and that's one to do it on fastball up in the zone knocks it right there in left center you take a look balance swing he's one of those players that if he gets one pitchy he can handle he's going to take a good whack at it and it's usually going to mean extra bases i can appreciate that that pitch god rodriguez a fastball drills him Make it first and third. Personal experience is really helpful. Boy, back to back hit batsman. Thomas goes to first. Ball four walks in a run. No one gets the RBI, and Vanderbilt has a 3 2 lead. But if it's outside the string, it's added to that with one last inning. Inning over as Varel fans the senior Ray.
Got him on the curve to end the inning. Doolin with three strikeouts leaves two off. Most amazing moments here at Hawkins Field I've ever seen. No doubt about it. That one hit back in the hole, played by Pearson. Big bounce, safe at first. Pop fan played it on the hop, but Thomas beats it out. Starts in the power alleys. Ball four, the first two on base in the Vanderbilt sixth as no one draws his third walk of the night. Payoff. Bounce to the right side. Varell, nobody home. Davis beats it. Runner coming home from third. It's four to two. Hustle play by Thomas to score. As Davis outran everybody to first base. Yeah, it looked like there was a little bit of miscommunication communication from Potman and Varell. As we see, Varell tries to take that himself. And coming all the way from second base, you saw Isaiah Thomas rounding second. And actually, Tim Corbin was kind of in his ear to just keep going, keep going, can go, because we actually saw him slow down. Behind here, one and two. To the hole, it's short. Runner was on the move. No play, run scores, 5-2. Another infield hit as no one crosses. Cole gets an RBI. Commodore's can't still need to find a way to get it out of the infield, but it doesn't matter. Still put another one on the board. This one to Pearson's right. I think he might have been trying to rush the throw a little bit, possibly trying to get a, a quick toss over to Ayala, his second baseman. 2-2 Two -two ends the inning on a strikeout of Keegan. Two runs, three hits, no errors, and And back in. This one is fair. Throw down to second. They get the lead runner, the return throw. A nice double play. Started by Keegan over at first. He's been dealing out some pain. That ball hit deep to left and off the fence. Duvall will get to third. One out double by Thomas. Continues to swing the bat. Yeah, just that inside pitch that he's really able to turn on. He's got such quick hands. You see, he almost waits till it gets to the last moment and then takes a quick swing. Ball just explodes off of his bat, off the monster. You can see the reaction of the catcher, Sagdahl. He kind of put it. Hit to deep center. Will at least bring in one run back and making the play, Reagan. Reached up over his head. Duvall tags and scores from third. Everybody moves up a base, and no one gets his second RBI, 6-2. to two. That's all he's trying to do, just getting the ball up in the zone that he can hit. The ball is absolutely smashed in a heck of a play by Reagan, the center fielder, right at the warning track where the Commodore is able to pinch one more across, which is 16 minutes in there. Ball and a strike. Hit deep. And we'll get down for another hit for Vanderbilt. Thomas scores easily. Ray brings him home. Seven to two Commodores. RBI for Harrison. And a great mid-game adjust with it. Fly ball to center. Drifting out young to end the inning. Luke Murphy with some good work. Two strikeouts and a pop out to leave runners at first and second. What kind of team they have. Slow bouncer left side, hustling down the line, Young, they won't have a play. Price from the left side and Bueller from the right side. Gets up the middle for Davis for his second hit in three innings. Big turn at second, Young stops. Vanderbilt has two on here in the eighth. Hit hard, line drive to right will bring in one more run for Vanderbilt as Colwick. Gets on into second with a hustling double. Makes it 8-2, to two, Vandy. That's two RBIs for Kowick and his two at-bats in this game. You know, be inserted in the game midway. Kowick doing big things. Fastball on the outside corner. And shoots it the other way. In the past when we've seen Commodore struggle to, 
to get guys in. Uh, tonight, they've made use of all their runners. Self was the scoreboard, the, uh, the guitar scoreboard. Had some damage. Duvall, he goes opposite field. Will bring home two more with a two RBI single. Vanderbilt blowing this game wide open. It's 10 to 2. Yeah, that's what you want out of your senior. It's a good pitch to, to hit early. A slider on the outside corner. He doesn't try and wrap around or get too big with it. Goes right the other way. And he's got two RBIs to show for it. Seven runs now. Right like, next uh, to it, right like, across the street. Yep. See if UCA can get to out at second. The turn, 6-4-3, ends the inning. Swing and a miss, picked up by Rodriguez. One last throw, and it's a 10-1 homestand for the Commodores with a 10-2 victory over Central Arkansas. More good pitching and good late-inning offense. Two runs in the sixth, two more in the seventh, three more in the eighth to open things up. Yeah, I think for the Commodores in this little homestand we've, we've seen at the beginning of the season, great job just keeping a lot of consistency. We've seen some good stuff from some of the young pitchers as well as some young bats. Now it gets into the, the fun stuff. Now you go out to, to the west and then you start to get to SEC play.